This is part 16 of sequence of our interview questions and answers. In this video, we'll discuss the common date related interview questions. All the questions are going to be based on this employee's table. I have already created this table and here is the SQL script for that. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Notice for the date of birth column, I have used date time data type. When a record is inserted, both the date and time parts are stored in the table. If I have used the date data type instead, you would not have the time part stored and as a result, the queries would have been slightly easier. However, in most cases, it would be useful to capture both the date and time when a transaction has occurred as opposed to just the date part. Hence, I have used date time data type. As far as dates are concerned, here are the common questions that you might face in an interview. Write a SQL query to get all people who are born on a given date. For example, all people born on the 9th of October 2017. People born between two given dates. For example, November 1st, 2017 and December 31st, 2017. People born on the same day and month excluding the year. We don't care about the year part. So, for example, we want all the people who are born on the 9th of October. They may be born in year 2017, 2018, 2015. We don't really care about the year part. People whose birth year is the same. For example, we want all the people born in the year 2017, 2018, etc. Finally, people born yesterday, today, tomorrow, last seven days, next seven days, etc. Once we are comfortable answering all these questions, we can extend the concepts that we have learned to answer similar questions like the following. Orders placed between two given dates or on a given day, month, year, etc. Customers gained or lost, employees joined, left, retired, etc. Most of these questions can be very easily answered if we are comfortable with SQL date functions. In addition to SQL date functions, it's also useful to learn cast and convert functions. We discussed all the date cast and convert functions in parts 25 to 28 in our SQL Server tutorial course. Now, let's answer the first question. Write a SQL query to get all people who are born on a given date. For example, 9th October 2017. So, when we execute our query on this table, this is how our result should be. Notice for both David and Elsa, their date of birth is 9th October 2017. In the result set, we want the name of the employee and their date of birth. So, let's include the name column and date of birth column. In addition to these two columns, we also want just the date part value from this date time value. One way to convert date time to just the date part is by using SQL cast function. So, in addition to these two columns, we also want just the date part. So, let's use SQL cast function and cast date of birth as date. Let's give this column a name. I'm going to call it date part. We want this from our employees table. When we execute this query, we get all the 10 employees, but that's not what we want. So, let's filter the employees who are born on 9th October 2017 by using the where clause. Date of birth equals 9th October 2017. Notice, we did not get any employee back. Why is that? Well, that's because within date of birth column, we have both date and time value and we are comparing date and time value with just date value. So, obviously, this date value is not going to match with any date time value we have in this date of birth column. So, what we want to do now is convert this date time value just to the date part and then compare that with this date part. For that, let's use the cast function again cast date of birth as date. Notice now, we get the two employees whose date of birth is 9th October 2017. So, the important point to keep in mind is when comparing a date time value to just a date value, make sure to cast that date time value to just the date value. Otherwise, you would not get the result that you expect. Now, let's answer our second question. Write a SQL query to get all people born between two given dates. For example, all people born between November 1st, 2017 and December 31st, 2017. 
this is easy to achieve. We have already converted date time value in the date of birth column to just the date value. We want this date value to be between 1st of November 2017 and 31st of December 2017. There we go. We have all the people born between the two given dates. Now let's answer this question. Write a query to get all people who are born on the same day and month excluding the year. For example, we want all the people who are born on the 9th of October. We don't really care about the year. So to get all those people who are born on the 9th day of October from this date time column value, we want to retrieve the day number. To retrieve the day number from a given date time value, we use the day function. So from date of birth column, just give me the day number. And the day must be 9th of October. So we compare it with 9 and the month should be October. To get the month number from a given date time value, we use month function. We want month from date of birth column and the month should be October. So we compare it with 10. There we go. We have all people born on the 9th of October. Now, what if we want to get all those people who are born in a given year? For example, we want to write a query to get all those people who are born in the year 2017. You might have guessed the answer for this already. To get the day number from a given date time column value, we use the day function. To get the month, we use the month function. Similarly, to get the year, we use the year function and compare this value with the year 2017. Now let's write a query to get all people who are born yesterday. To get current date and time, in SQL Server we use getDate function. Today's date is 17th November 2018. In the result set, we have both the date part and the time part, but we are only interested in the date part. So let's cast this date time value to just the date part. Our goal here is to get yesterday's date. For that, we need to subtract 1 from the current day number. Anytime we want to add or remove something from a given date time value, we use SQL date add function. This function has got three parameters. The first parameter is the date part to which we want to add or remove. In our case, we want to remove one day from the day number. So we specify day. The next parameter is the value that we want to add or remove. In our case, we want to subtract one day. So we specify minus one. The last parameter is the date time value itself from which we want to subtract minus one from the day number. In our case, this date time value is the current date. When we execute this, notice we get yesterday's date. Today is number 17 but in the result set, we have yesterday's date, which is November 16. We want all people who are born yesterday. So first, we need to cast the date time value in the date of birth column to just the date part. And then compare this with yesterday's date. And to get yesterday's date, we can use this expression. There we go. We have all people who are born yesterday, that is number 16, 2018. Now, if you want all people who will be born tomorrow, then to the current date that this cast method returns, add one, that's going to give us tomorrow's date, which is 18th November, 2018. So when we execute this query, we get all the people who are born on 18th November, 2018. Now, let's take this query to the next level. We want to write a query to retrieve all people who are born since yesterday, that is people born yesterday and today. So the date of birth should be between yesterday. To get yesterday's date, we subtract minus one from the current date that this cast method returns. To get today's date, 
we use getDate method. So let's copy and paste the value that the cast method returns. There we go. We have all people who were born yesterday, that is 16th of November 2018, and today, 17th of November 2018. Now let's modify this query to get all people who are born in the last seven days, excluding today. To get the seventh day in the past from the current date, we subtract minus seven from the current date. The date of birth must be in the last seven days, excluding today. So to get yesterday's date, we subtract minus one from the current date. There we go. We have all the people who are born in the last seven days, excluding today. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.